Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Now let's get serious. Have you ever heard about the carnivore diet? No, it's not about dressing up like a T-Rex and chasing your food. But let's take a step back. When we talk about the carnivore diet, what exactly are we referring to? Well, in essence, it's a dietary plan that involves consuming only ruminant meat and saturated fats as the primary macronutrients. Yup, you heard it right. No fruits, no veggies, and definitely no sides. Just meat and fat in all their glory. Now you might be wondering, what on earth are macronutrients? Well, let me break it down for you. Macronutrients are the nutrients that provide calories or energy. There are three types of macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Each of these plays a crucial role in maintaining our health and well-being. In a typical diet, carbohydrates are often the main source of energy. They're found in foods like bread, pasta, and yes, those delicious, tempting sweets. Proteins, on the other hand, are essential for building and repairing tissues, while fats are necessary for absorbing certain vitamins and protecting our vital organs. But here's where the carnivore diet flips the script. Instead of relying on carbs for energy, this diet puts the spotlight on protein and fat, specifically from ruminant meat. That means beef, lamb, goat, deer. If it's a mammal that chews cud and has a split hoof, it's on the menu. Why this focus on ruminant meat and saturated fat, you ask? Well, advocates of the carnivore diet argue that these foods provide all the nutrients our bodies need without the added sugars and processed ingredients found in many modern diets. So, if you're tired of the never-ending debate between Team Kale and Team Bacon, this might just be the diet for you. So, you're interested in the carnivore diet. Great! Here's how you can make the transition from omnivore to carnivore without turning into a werewolf. First things first, let's break it down. The carnivore diet is a way of eating that focuses on consuming only animal products. That means plenty of meat and animal fats and absolutely no fruits, veggies, or sides. Now this might seem like a daunting task, especially if you're used to a more balanced diet. But don't worry, we're here to guide you through it step by step. Step one is all about mental preparation. It's crucial to understand that this diet is a significant lifestyle change. It's not just about food, it's about shifting your mindset. So before you jump in, take some time to get comfortable with the idea. Step two, you'll need to start sourcing high quality meat and fats. This is the backbone of the carnivore diet. You'll want to look for ruminant meat, that's your beef, lamb, and goat, and saturated fats. When it comes to meat, quality is king. So, seek out grass-fed, organic options whenever possible. And remember, variety is the spice of life, or in this case, the spice of meat. Don't just stick to one kind of meat, mix it up to keep things interesting. Now on to step three, managing cravings. This is perhaps the most challenging part of transitioning to the carnivore diet. Your body will naturally crave what it's used to, which means you might find yourself dreaming about apples or a side of fries. But don't fret, this is completely normal. The key is not to give in. Instead, whenever you feel a craving coming on, reach for a piece of meat or a spoonful of animal fat. Over time, your body will adjust and those cravings will start to subside. Step four is all about consistency. The carnivore diet isn't something you can do half-heartedly. It's a commitment. So make sure you're ready to stick to it. This means no cheat days, no sneaky snacks, and definitely no green stuff. Remember, it's not just about eating meat. It's about embracing a carnivorous lifestyle. Finally, step five, be patient. Change doesn't happen overnight, especially when it comes to your diet. It might take a while for your body to adjust to this new way of eating. You might experience some initial discomfort, but don't let that discourage you. Stay the course and soon enough, you'll start reaping the benefits of the carnivore diet. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to transitioning to the carnivore diet. It might seem like a lot, but remember, every journey starts with a single step. And in this case, that step is a juicy, delicious piece of steak. Remember, the key to success on the carnivore diet is patience, consistency, and a good butcher. Weight loss. Many people report significant weight loss when following the carnivore diet. This could be due to several factors, including reduced calorie intake, increased satiety from consuming protein-rich foods, and potential metabolic effects. Let's start with the potential benefits. First off, the carnivore diet is a protein powerhouse. With a menu chock full of ruminant meat and saturated fat, you're guaranteed to get your daily dose of muscle-building, energy-boosting protein. This can lead to increased strength and endurance, especially welcomed by those who lead an active lifestyle or are looking to up their fitness game. Another advantage is the simplicity of the diet. 
No need to stress over counting calories or balancing your macronutrients. All you need to remember is, if it once mood, bleated, or bod, it's on the menu. This simplicity can be a godsend for those who dread meal planning or just want to keep things straightforward and fuss-free. Now let's shift gears and talk about the potential drawbacks. The carnivore diet, despite its controversial nature and potential drawbacks, has been claimed to offer several benefits by its proponents. Supporters of the carnivore diet argue that by eliminating fiber and other difficult-to-digest plant foods, the digestive system may experience less stress and work more efficiently. It's important to note that much of the evidence supporting these claims is anecdotal, and more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of this dietary approach. And research is being done as we speak. Relief from digestive issues, individuals with certain digestive disorders, such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, may find relief from their symptoms on the carnivore diet. This is often attributed to the elimination of foods that can exacerbate these conditions, such as high fiber and fermentable carbohydrates. Certain individuals with autoimmune conditions or chronic inflammation may find relief from their symptoms when following the carnivore diet. This could be due to the elimination of potentially inflammatory foods like grains, legumes, and processed sugars. Furthermore, the carnivore diet's high intake of saturated fats could potentially lead to increased cholesterol levels. Although some studies suggest that saturated fats aren't as bad as once thought, it's still a topic of heated debate in the world of nutrition. Reduced inflammation. Certain individuals with autoimmune conditions or chronic inflammation may find relief from their symptoms when following the carnivore diet. This could be due to the elimination of potentially inflammatory foods like grains, legumes, and processed sugars. Some proponents suggest that the carnivore diet can help stabilize blood sugar levels, leading to improved insulin sensitivity and potentially reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Lastly, this diet might not be sustainable for the long haul. Its restrictive nature might make it difficult to stick to, especially in social situations where you might be the only one skipping the salad and side dishes. Now it's important to remember that everyone's body responds differently to diets. What works wonders for one person might be a total flop for another. So if you decide to give the carnivore diet a try, listen to your body. We're here to support you on your journey. Click the link in the description of this video and complete a short survey about why you're interested in the carnivore diet. As a thank you for participating, you'll receive a free guide that includes a four-week menu planner to help you navigate your meals on the carnivore diet tips and strategies to stick with the program during the crucial first 30 days. Whether the carnivore diet is a roaring success or a dino-sized disaster will depend on your body, your goals, and your commitment. But hey, at least you won't have to worry about eating your veggies. You've got questions, we've got answers. Let's tackle some of the most common queries about the carnivore diet. First question on the docket, will I become nutrient deficient? Well, contrary to popular belief, Ruminant meat is a powerhouse of essential nutrients. From vitamins B and D to iron and zinc, you're getting a solid dose of what your body needs. You will be including organ meats, bone marrow, and even seafood can keep your nutrient profile diverse and healthy. Now, on to the next one. Isn't this diet unsustainable? Well, this can be a tricky one. The carnivore diet isn't about excessive consumption, but rather about mindful, quality-focused choices. Opting for grass-fed, ethically raised meat can make a world of difference, not just for your health, but for the environment too. Then there's the classic, but where are the greens? The carnivore diet is, well, carnivorous, but that doesn't mean you're missing out. Many nutrients found in plants are also available in meat, often in more absorbable forms. Your body will love it. And finally, won't all that saturated fat harm my heart? Hey, it's a fair question. But recent research suggests that saturated fat isn't the villain it's been made out to be. As always, moderation and balance are key. Remember, when it comes to diet, one size doesn't fit all. Listen to your body, do your research, and consult with a healthcare professional if needed. So there you have it, folks. The carnivore diet in a nutshell. Or should we say, in a meatball. We've looked at the ins and outs of this meat and fat-focused diet, debunked some common misconceptions, and weighed the pros and cons. If it aligns with your dietary goals and lifestyle, we encourage you to delve deeper into this protein-packed world. Some proponents claim that eliminating carbohydrates and other potentially inflammatory foods can lead to improved mental clarity and focus. 
Before we wrap up, remember to subscribe to Hanging with the Browns for more delicious insights into the world of the carnivore diet. Remember, the link in the description for that free menu guide. And as always, keep your plates meaty and your conversations flavorful. Until next time.